Hey guys, and welcome to the Buying View. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Uh, lovely day, uh, as you can see, not. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff. Um, obviously, you can see him in the car, so I'll speak up a little bit, and hopefully, I'm not too loud for you. But obviously, um, I made a video earlier. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's on Kyle Walker, um, buying unit, basically getting the verbal agreement to sign Kyle Walker. Um, Obviously, I had my opinion on that one. That's that's out there. Check that video out. Um, but of course, Kyle Walker coming to us means that Man City are going to try and get a replacement for him. Now, the replacement looks like it's going to be Benjamin Pavard, which is a little funny because it's like player for player. But I don't know if there will be a swap deal or anything like that. I'll read what this says in a minute. But um, yeah, big up to everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, and let's get into this. So. Two hours ago uh, from build, it says, uh, up until today, everything looked as if Kyle Walker would stay at Man City. Uh, Bayern was uh, skeptical, sorry. Uh, but this afternoon, Walker told Bayern he accepted their uh, two year offer with a further, um, a further year. Um, now it's up to the clubs to agree a fee, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then uh, Benjamin Pavard is now Manchester City's um, priority to replace Kyle Walker. Uh, Bayern and City will discuss um, about both uh, Walker and Pavard. Again, um, me and YouTube's um, have been speaking about this. I, I think maybe what 20 million and Kyle Walker for Pavard. I don't think that's too bad to be perfectly honest with you. And don't say that they can't afford it because they can. Um, let's just put it that way. Uh, Man City is a serious option for Pavard. Guardiola likes him. Uh, and his versatility, obviously him playing right back, him playing centre back, so on and so forth. Uh, and then it goes on to say, um, but the Frenchman has more concrete options with Manchester United and Juventus. Now, one thing that needs to be said straight away is if he goes to either one of those, the guy's an idiot. Um, sorry, it's getting a bit steamed up in the, in the car. So um, yeah, if he goes to Juventus, the guy's an idiot because yes, he can play centre back, but let's, let's not get it twisted. You can play centre back all you want for a crap club. You, 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 you know, you. To be honest, if we get the money, it doesn't matter. But then, why would you go from Bayern that win, win the league, to then go to Juventus that aren't even close to winning their league? They're finished. Um, you know, especially for a long while with AC Milan doing well, uh, Inter Milan doing well, Napoli doing well, so on. Um, but Manchester United will be a, a funny one. I don't think he'll play centre back there though. I don't see that link. I don't really understand that. We we'll definitely have to talk to Taylor about that one um, and see what he thinks because that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, and then 41 minutes ago from Kerry Hall, uh, which is another very reliable um, person. Um, on the transfers it says Benjamin Pavard now has three serious options Manchester City Manchester United and Juventus decisions could be made next week Barcelona no longer in the running due to economic problems i.e. they have no money and fuck Barcelona um, and then it says Bayern want at least 30 million euros so again you know that 20 million and Kyle Walker we're, we're looking to pay um, what was it it was 15 million euros I think so just take that 15 million off give us 20 million and Kyle Walker I don't I don't see that as a bad deal to be honest and hopefully you can hear me uh, we're going through loads of trees under loads of trees and it's um it's raining typical England weather um but yeah, Benjamin Pavard uh, has been a good servant of the club. Obviously, he's been a little bit moany with the whole centre-back situation, but when we needed him last season, he stepped up. And um, big up to him for stepping up. You know what I mean? There's nothing nothing else you can say to that. Um, I put a tweet out ages ago when it said that he was going to leave. Thank you for your service. Um, you know, this guy's going about it in the, in the, in the right way. Um, fuck PSG and fuck Lucas Hernandez as well, by the way. Sorry that I'm cursing, but generally, um, that snake did it the wrong way, and that's why he's a snake, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, do you think um, Bayern Munich are going to try and strike a deal with, obviously, you know, we're looking at their player, they're looking at our player. Of course, if you Juventus and, um, if Juventus and Man United are in there, then it might get a bit tricky. But um, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it should, uh, if I'm honest. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, I have a live stream coming later. I'm not sure if we get Taylor on today, but if we don't get him on today, we'll definitely get him on either at the weekend or going into next week. Got some other collaborations coming. Hopefully, we can be able to get a massive, massive um, collaboration going soon um, with uh, a special guest. Um, if 
that is possible. But yeah, big up to everyone. Thank you for the constant support. Benjamin Pavel to Manchester City. Kyle Walker coming the other way. Will there be a deal striked? I'm not too sure. But either way, that's going to be it for the video. Smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mia Samia. Peace out. Stay safe, guys. And um, have a great day. Maybe we'll see you later for the stream.